smaller and bigger numbers. Kids, can you see some cups and saucers? Well, these are 19 cups. And these are 15 saucers. Now, let us make a group of 10 cups. This is a group of 10 cups. Let's make a group of 10 saucers. This is a group of 10 saucers. Now, let us count the remaining cups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine cups are remaining. Now let us count the remaining saucers. One, two, three, four, five. Five saucers are remaining. Now nine is bigger than five, which means nineteen is bigger than fifteen. smaller and bigger numbers. Now children, among these numbers, let us find which number is bigger and which number is smaller. Now, we have 13, 11. In order to find the bigger number and smaller number, first we'll draw 13 lines for number 13 and 11 lines for number 11. Now let us make a circle to a 10, which means count 10 lines and encircle it in both the numbers 13 and 11. Now that you have created a group of 10 lines in both the numbers, let us find the remaining lines in number 13 and number 11. In number 13, three lines remain. In number 11, one line remains. Well, three lines is bigger than one line. So, 11 would be smaller number and 13 would be bigger number. Now, 16, 13. Let us draw 16 lines for number 16 and 13 lines for number 13. Now count 10 lines and encircle them for each 16 and 13. Well, you have taken out the common group of 10 lines in each number. In number 16, 6 lines remain. In number 13, 3 lines remain. Now 6 is bigger than 3, which means number 13 is a smaller number and number 16 is a bigger number. Now 10, 13. Draw 10 lines for number 10 and 13 lines for number 13. Now count 10 lines in each number and encircle them. You have created a group of 10 in each the numbers. Well, in number 10, after encircling the 10 lines, no line remains. In number 13, after encircling the 10 lines, 3 lines remain. Which means 3 is bigger than 0. So, 10 is a smaller number and 13 is a bigger number. 14, 12. Now draw 14 lines for number 14 and 12 lines for number 12. Now count 10 lines in each number and encircle them. Now that you have created a group of 10 in each number, let us see how many lines remain. In 14, 4 lines remain. In number 12, 2 lines remain. 
Now 14 is bigger than 12. So number 12 is a smaller number and number 14 is a bigger number. Kids, I'll teach you a new concept. Let us find the number before. It's very simple. Let's start with 13. Can you tell me the number which comes before 13? Start counting from 11. 11, 12, 13. So which number comes before 13? You are right. It's 12. Similarly, let us find out the number which comes before 18. Yes, it is 17. Which number comes before 16? Well, it is 15, 16, 17, right? So, 15 comes before 16. And which number comes before 19? Yes, it is 18. The middle number. Let us find out the middle number. 12 dash 14. Now what comes between 12 and 14? Let's start counting. 12, 13, 14. Yes, the number is 13. Similarly, let us find out which number comes in the middle of 17 and 19. Yes, it is 17, 18, 19. So the number is 18. Now let us find the number which is in the middle of 15 and 17. You're right. It is 15, 16 and 17. So the number is 16. Now 18 dash 20. Yes, it is 18, 19, 20. So the number which comes in the middle is 19. Kids, we have learnt about before. We have learnt about middle number. Now we will learn about the number after. Well, can you tell me which number comes after 14? If we start counting, it is 13, 14, 15. 15 is the number. And what comes after 11? Yes, you're right. It is 12. Okay, what comes after 13? Hmm, 14 it is. And what comes after 16? Alright, it is 17. You're a genius.